Hi folks, today we're going to try the new Nitro Planes 2-axis camera mount with the shutter servo. But first, let's take a look at this. Well, this is a camera I used to fly around a lot. It's pretty doggone heavy with the batteries, my homemade receiver, and my homemade transmitter. And the way this worked is I just hold this button while I fly in the transmitter, and all I have to do is push the button, and it would uh, operate the shutter on the camera. So this would hang as I was flying. Well, this was back in the day where there weren't any computers or anything. Now look, today we've got just video cameras that are completely self-contained for uh, way under an ounce. It's just amazing. I like things inexpensive and things that I can make without having to wait for them or drive 120 miles to their hobby store. So instead of spending lots of money just to make a video, I went cheap as I could on this one too. This is the Nitro Planes Quad Camera Kit. It's got to be assembled, but for 29 bucks, it's pretty well made and pretty well thought out. The first thing you have to do is take all of these, this plastic off of the parts and uh, the parts are very shiny and uh, amazing in fact the guy who designed and cut these out must be in a rubber room somewhere but you get all those done and then uh, then you start your build Well, after deciding that this might work pretty good on my other models, I decided to mod it with two gyros and its own receiver. A small battery could be added to run the receiver, but in my case, I have a power takeoff from the T580 board. It works just fine. And now it's real easy to switch from aircraft to aircraft. Okay, I'm going to show you the basic operation of this. This hangs from the aircraft like this. I'm going to build a separate radio for it because you need three channels. This tilts it this way. This would tilt this up and down this way. If I wanted to take a picture, I just simply hit the shutter and it takes a picture. That's where I put in the gyros. I first tried heading lock gyros, but all they did was drift. So simple Helimax rate gyros work the best for me. Okay, I've got the roll axis gyro on there. So as you see, as I rotate or anything, that camera will stay in one place.
The gyros can't be turned down on this T580, so the slightest bump in wind or my thumbs will cause it to immediately try to stabilize. So in comparison, the videos without the gyro mount are quite a bit more rocky. This is doing pretty good considering. I have to practice to see what the best settings are. Well, now that I know it works, I'll do some tweaking with the gyros to get it better. Thanks for watching and happy flying.